I seen it with my own too, there's no way I could show you A perfectly poverty stricken people with no view And I bet you can't believe this, they never heard of Jesus Heard of young Buck, Lil Wayne and young Jesus No one's signing up to go on missions this summer Rather sit at home and watch Exhibit Pip in a Hummer While a nine-year-old is shot down, no one's screaming stop Now no bridge drilling straight just for criminals who won't lock down Deep in Africa, looking for an answer, bruh China, man, a dying man Until they know who died for sin So, look what Christ did Not for us to stay in Inside our comfort zones At home in mama's basement Get out on the grind, y'all Ain't no better time, dawg Know you read the Great Commission Let me just remind y'all Make disciples of the nation Teach them to obey the Lord Wonderful people. We met a lot of people this weekend or this week, yeah. and it's been a fantastic time. Yeah. Tamika, what's up, you want? You got it? You got it? Got it. Got it. So funny. Daddy. What's up, Albert? How's it going, man? Daddy. You got it? What you got? Daddy. You got it? So what's up, Albert? How's it going, Albert? I'm getting late. 
God is good. Albert. Albert. That is. <laughs> he don't say nothing about God. Who gets the glory, Albert? God is. God be the glory, right? God is. All right, he got it right now. God be the glory, right, Albert? God get the glory. Yes, sir. God get the glory. God get the glory. God get the glory. Oh, yeah. Awesome, man. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So that's day one going for you. What? Yes, it is. Alright. You're tired, aren't you? Noah, how's your first day, man? It's amazing, really. Alright. That's uh. Paul, say hi. Hey, good morning. Yeah, man. First day, first day. Say hi, man. How's it going? Tired? All right. You want to say anything for the people back at home, man? Awesome. Go next year. Go next year. You know, it's not very enthusiastic. But uh, don't stay up at three in the morning. Don't stay up at three in the morning. Awesome. Thanks, man. Logan. Logan. Describe this trip in one word, man. That weed is for the win. That's like five words, man. That's that's one word for me. First day, it's gonna be awesome. Peter, wanna say anything? Yeah, man. Want to say anything? Describe this this trip in one word, kind of sir. Good enough. Saxophone. First day. How was your first day? Uh, my first day was, uh, I guess it's our second day because we came up yesterday. Uh, yeah. Yesterday I was really tired because of the ride, but today I, I'm really pumped, you know, I mean, I had a good day. Yeah, man, try to look at the camera, man. I mean, I don't know what everyone else did, but I talked to a bunch of homeless people. I mean, That's I cool. guess that sounds bad, but I, I mean, I really, I had some good conversations that lasted like 40 minutes, and I think I really made a change, you know? I nice, mean, man. People walked away from me, and they were like, wow, I feel a lot better than I did 20 minutes ago. You yeah, know so, I mean? you're, so you're with the homeless shelter, man? No, not the homeless. I mean, we were in Fendi Park. Walking around talking to anyone we could see and handing out water bottles and anything they could need. Man. Right, man, that's awesome, man. Yeah, it really started pouring down rain, so they all came under the shelter and we got to talk to a bunch of people. It was really good. Nice. Okay, so there's the, um, the homeless group and then there's the, what, what is it, kids? It's the kid Inner city group. kids? Yeah. But, um, and then there's the elderly group and they have the dementia patients and all the people who are disabled and stuff. You know what I mean, I don't really know much about them. You ought to hunt someone down in one of those teams, but I mean, as far as the homeless group, we're doing a lot of great stuff for Jesus. Oh man, it's day two, I heard you're very tired, how's it going? I am very tired. What time did you go to bed? I don't even know, but it was like 2.30. You don't even know. Oh, looks like there's a random arm on your face, I wonder who that is. Oh. <laughs> That's All right, cool, maybe man. we went to bed at one. I don't remember. You don't remember? Like, That's cool. It well, was in the morning. How about that? Uh, who invited you on this trip? Um, well, Paul. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. My, 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 my this. music hit me so hard. Makes me say, Touch this. Yeah, that's how we living, and you know you can't touch this. Look in my eyes, man. You can't touch this. Yo, let me bust the funky lyrics. Touch this. Fresh new kicks and pants. You got it like that. Now you know you wanna dance. So move out of your seat and get a five girl and catch this beat while it's rolling. Hold on, pump a little bit and let the noise go on like that, like that. Pull a little bit, just don't fall on back. Let them know that you're too much. And this is a beat. Yeah. 
pretty much pushed you into it. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> nice. Yeah. That's cool, man. Well, um, say hi, Paul. Paul, say hi. He's a loser, Paul. He's a loser. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Right. So, is there, one, is there anything you're excited about on this trip? Yeah, I'm excited about going to the mall and doing. Nice, nah, so you're in the mall ministry. Yeah. So, um, fun. what do we have again? The afternoon the ministries or the mall ministries? The mall, the retail, and yeah, the mall retail. The oh, and Freezy yeah. Pops to the people. On the oh yeah, corner. that's cool. I think. Well, um, one, name one thing you're really nervous about. The mall ministry. The mall ministry? Yeah. yeah I'm likewise. excited. I'm like halfway. I'm like, yay. And then I'm like, oh crap. I'm going to Day two, man. We're on the bus to Midtown or Worship Center. Hi. That's Colin right there. So, um, how are you feeling so far? Very, very, very tired. Sunday, we were out doing stuff, you know, for the majority of the day. And then Monday, we were busy. And now we're coming to close on Tuesday. Tuesday is busy too. Busy, yeah. busy day. Busy when, day. Oh, tomorrow should be better though, because we only have to do. We only have to go to our morning site. We get the majority of the day for rest. So I feel like today and like like energy wise, today's probably the worst day because Friday's only a half day, so we only have a day and a half after Wednesday. So I feel like that mood. Uh, Moods are high and tensions are rising, but I think that we all just need a good night's sleep tonight so that we can uh, get back on track. So what are we, what are we learning in worship? Uh, we're learning about Jonah and the whale and how he repented to God for all the sins that he can yeah. that all he, all the sins he did while he uh, was running from him and how he didn't trust God. I'll project. And... Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, boy, yeah. 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 That's, cool, man. that's all that I can really remember. <laughs> well, what, name, one, name a couple things you're excited and nervous about on this trip. Um, well, we went, uh, at least my group today went to the mall, and uh, I found it very difficult to strike conversations with like, strangers. Um, this kid right here was my partner, and uh, and yeah, we, we found it pretty difficult to start conversations with complete strangers because it was from the, tough. Yeah, from the stories that we heard from other people, it was very it was very hard um, for them that they got rejected a lot. People didn't really want to listen to them. We really only started a conversation up with one guy, and he he didn't even really seem interested to talk to us about anything. It was it was kind of hard. But um, so I guess my biggest concern right now is just. You know, to have an open heart and an open mind, not really get scared, go into the moment and live it out. Uh, the homeless thing, the homeless group right now, we're doing great. I had a talk with a guy named Andre for two and a half hours today. Oh, well, I mean, we were just sharing our knowledge of God. I mean, I learned so much about, like, the timeline and history of Abraham and all of his descendants. And, like, we learned about, you know... Uh, and there, we talked more about Jonah, and we also went to the book of Joshua a little bit. I didn't know that in uh, Joshua 10:13, God stopped time. He uh, stopped the sun and he stopped the moon. So, I mean, that was such a cool thing that I didn't know about until, until today. You trying to figure out what to do with your life You make a lot of money, hope you're doing it right Because the money is God, you better steal it right And stay focused, you ain't got no ride Your life ain't right to do what you want Demo 
want a heater Cause the streets is finna heat up Six million ways to die Choose ten And if he don't die Then he probably do him again A passionate catastrophe The genocidal blasphemy No respect for humanity They resort to insanity Head bang on the glass Call it window pane Jump, Jumping out the window Trying to get my frame Through the frame Close range when he point I just blank out Some my heart sank When the bang thing now you got your thing out, you take life, you give it You took his life away, but you gave yours up to the system No one that listen, no reason for living We bought the lie, we can't be Snapchat forgiven for all the for sinning Killing is not religion, service is in a prison Ignorance got a slave and our name is in the mentions oh. Yeah Two pop, Bible verse and two glocks. Say we ready to die. See a ghetto in the sky. Couldn't be more wrong than right shoes on the left feet. Highway to hell and we fighting for the best seat. No heart, bullets got no name. Little boys wanna bang, but then belly got your brain. Then belly got aim, but they shooting for nothing. They rob a sister of a brother for a couple of hundred. They thinking their life is cheap, but it's expensive as ever. They'll be sentenced to forever for them heartless endeavors. I try to tell them, see my down, brother. But they like whatever. Too scared of being broke to think about being better. Plus we get bombarded by all these images. Hey, of a hey, you ain't hey, really hey, gonna you don't follow these models. Come on, stay high, stay high, stay high. We can set up. Yeah. You can forgive much if you understand you forgive it.
Tell me what you like about this um, this mission trip so far. Um, free food, entertainment. Yes, it absolutely does for me, readers. And I'll try to be a little bit loud so the camera can hear me. But I mean, really, God is showing me today. I don't know about you guys, but I'm enjoying myself. I'm having a ball of the time. Okay, yeah. yeah, so. Okay, well, just name a couple things you really, really, I truly like about this trip, like the worship or the people you're meeting. Spending time with you, readers. I no. love you so much. No, no, be honest. No, for real. I'm being honest. You are our brother. You're like, you right. cheer me up, buddy. I mean, okay. you keep it fresh. Okay. You're, sure. you're keeping it real ministries, man. But, uh, I mean, ministering to home people, making a difference and stuff. Spending time with my boys, easy and family. But really, readers, you just write my desk. If you weren't here, this, this trip would be really boring. It would be boring. Pretty boring. boring. You know? I mean, you're, you're the one keeping spice in my life. Think about that, man. Okay. I think we should interview you. Let's do it. Alright. Alright. What are your favorite things about this mission trip so far? Okay. Yeah. Well, make sure you're not getting my legs and getting my face. It's perfect. I get your face. It's perfect. Okay. I promise. Alright. So what I really like about this mission trip is just pretty much that we get to share the good news of Christ. Um, it's really helped me in my faith. It's helped me just expand my comfort zone. Like the mall ministry we had today. We had the mall ministry, the freezer pops, and the retail. I was, in, I was in the malls. And just going up to random people asking, pretty much starting a conversation, getting a relationship with them, and talking to them, do you know God? Do you know Jesus? Do you know these things? And, kind of, you know, trying to help them. And that, it really expanded my comfort zone. Um, pretty awesome just 
have, being able to do that. One thing I'm really excited about is the fact that we get to go again Thursday. We get to go um, again serve Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And, you know, we're already growing closer to Christ. And this is only the second day. I consider it the second day. Uh, it's Tuesday. But, um, you know, really, one thing I'm really nervous about is that I won't go to far links for my God. I'll actually just be like, me. Yeah. That's what I'm scared about. I want to be like, like a lion rather than a lion. You know what I mean? Sure. Where's this video going? On YouTube? Um, YouTube, Facebook, Facebook your <laughs> wall. I'm going to post it all that. over your wall of you, Cameron. Smile for the camera. <laughs> all of your friends. I realize we have like a, um, a rivalry going on with David Bond. YouTube video. Whose video is better? It is this. definitely. David Bond's video is all him. Videoing Matthew's camera, like like Matthew will be interviewing people, and then David will come over his shoulder and be like right there, like videotaping his camera, his, like just, just like the inside of it, like. So yeah. Is that true? Yes. Yes. He's going down. <laughs> He's going down. All right. Well, let's break. Rock the bus!
was 13, I had my first love. There was nobody that compared to my baby, and nobody came between us, so could ever come above. She had me going crazy. Oh, I was starstruck. She woke me up daily. Don't need no Starbucks. Woo! She made my heart pound. And skip a beat when I see her in the street and at school on the playground. But I really want to see her on the weekend. She knows she got me dazing, cause she was so amazing. And now my heart is breaking. But I just keep on saying. Baby, baby, baby. Do you? Okay, Jesse. So tell tell me how this trip's impacted okay. your life. Um. Well, let's see. I know. I really had a. I didn't really want to work with the elderly people, and I didn't think it was going to be a lot of fun because I wouldn't be able to connect with them. But it really, it was really cool, and I like stepped out of my comfort zone, and I was able to like really talk to some people, and like I got to hear like their stories, like what they did in their lives and stuff. Um, so it's really so what's cool. your favorite part about this trip? Um, I really liked the retail stuff when we got to go around and give out flowers and candy to people um, working in retail and um, like it was really fun because like they you, like blessed them so much they weren't expecting it and they were all so happy to get it like no one could, would like deny getting flowers like everyone wants flowers well, all the girls do but yeah and so like a lot of people were like thank you so much like and they like give you a hug and stuff and so it just makes you feel happy that you're making other people happy so yeah so, um, how'd you become an intern here well my family goes here like my cool. aunt and uncle and grandparents and all that good stuff and so they told me about that this church exists mm -hmm. and my aunt told me about the youth internship so okay. i applied and it's been great that's cool um so you like this mission trip so far Yes, it's been awesome. So can you tell us like what we're doing today? Today, my group is going to help you do your back. Elderly slash disabled daycare. And so, yeah, we're just going to be hanging out with them, playing games, loading on them some, cheering Jesus. Yeah. That's cool. Well, um... So tell me one thing, like one thing you're excited about, like during this trip. One thing I'm excited about, it's been awesome hanging out with everybody and getting to know people, and uh, yeah, just excited about like what the Lord's gonna do in other people's mm -hmm. lives, and see how He's gonna like extend like, through mm -hmm. us this week, and it'll be exciting to see later on. And Dustin's been awesome, yeah, getting to learn a lot. So. That's cool. So, well, name one thing you're like you're kind of sad about, like you're a little nervous about. Disabled people are not my specialty. I get kind of like, I don't know what the word is around them. It's kind of weird. Yeah. But uh, you know what? The Lord's been like with me through that, and um, I'll continue to like get better uh, and can rely on Him more through that whole thing. So that's what I guess that I don't know if that's like a sad thing, but that's like the not as like great thing. Yeah, this is on, again, day four of the mission trip. So far, so good. We're um, serving people. Um, of course, with the homeless ministry, I cannot get many of them. I'm gonna try tomorrow to um, get this camera over there. It really depends, because you guys really need to see them. Um, also, the inner city kids, unfortunately, I'm not gonna get you any of that. But um, we try to see you out on other people, try to steal some um, video and make them to your own. Um, Spring Church Mission Church is based on the um, old people's home. I'll probably just stick to that. Um, it's just one part of the ministry, but we have several others. You know, just two, well, really two others. But we're impacting a lot of lives here. You should really um, think about joining us. Um, 
it has really changed our lives. All right, David, how has this mission trip really impacted your life so far? Well, it's really shown me uh, through the uh, speaker that we had, uh, what was his name, Dustin? Dustin. That like, uh, showed me like uh, the sin that had been the root of pretty much everything that I had been uh, doing wrong, which is like really like a lust for acceptance. And uh, mm -hmm. it taught me how to be a bit uh, more of a servant than I've been because I was always uncomfortable with like uh, working with people I didn't know. I saw you last night and I saw you were really into the worship service. Do you want to explain that all? At all? I'm a... Uh, God just came up, came on me and I just... I don't know, I just started crying and singing and dropping Jesus bombs. Yeah. Like can attest, he was behind me. Like an emotional go through, dropping a spirit bomb. Yeah, it seems like a lot of people on... Um, Seems like a lot of people took this to heart because it's the first time I've ever raised my hands in a worship service, probably since Awanata. Um, and it seems like a lot of people had that same experience. Um, you know, five or six others. Hey, me again. Talking a little louder. So, like I said, God really moved me this week, and I'm just glad to serve Him. I'm very happy that even Tuesday when I was going through the hall, I was trying to, I was trying to save people myself. And you know, and that was when, I, when we were doing the mall ministry. We had the afternoon ministry, um, and it was when Thursday when we were doing the mall ministry. I just had a feeling like God, I want you to do this. I can't save anybody, but you can. Please, Lord, do this. And I prayed for these things. And sure enough, I just, you know, I've talked to four people. Doesn't mean they've been saved. You know, doesn't mean they they were, you know, dead. You know, were reborn. But um. I encouraged, you know, God was able to use me to encourage them in their faith. Yeah, you could sure I did it. Okay, well, there's an analogy. I'm trying to hit the nail with a hammer. I keep missing. But God's got his hand right over me. He's got his hand right over me. And he's nailing in the hammer for me. And I have his hands on top of mine. And we're both doing it together. But see, he's using me to do his will. I'm not doing anything. I have no purpose, but it's the God who I serve uses me to do God's way. Now, why would I put a relationship ahead of that? Well, it's extreme. It doesn't really make sense to me anymore. And from now on, from this point, I need to be more strong. And I pray to God right now that I do not become so strong centered in a relationship as I did, because I didn't even realize that. But I know I was a doll suddenly. her. And if she's watching this right now, I'm sorry. Doesn't mean I don't, don't have feelings for you. Doesn't mean I don't I don't know God's will. But I have to make a commitment. My God has to come first, and we believe that. But the thing is, we were so blind that we did not see that. I need to open up that bag. Whoever's again watching this video, which is um, be led um, the homeless ministry we did. I wish I could get pictures. I'm gonna try. Um, homeless ministry is just awesome. Um, well. It's just, you know, we go to the, um, a place called Finley Park. I've never been, but my friends have, and they tell me. They just talk, go around to people who, do, who don't have homes, and they talk about Jesus. It's pretty nerve-wracking, yes, but they've had great experiences in there. For the God, for God has led them, and God has moved them. Again, we also have the inner city kids, which I haven't heard much about, but it's just people like us are just trying to lead people to Christ, and I think that's awesome. I'm very happy to serve my God. I'm very glad. God has moved me through this worship, um, just to worship last night. I just felt moved. I threw my hands up for the first time in a while. And I was inspired, if I even say so, I was inspired that at least four or five or even six people also had that same feeling. Even one of the um, rising sophomores. That was pretty amazing. Um, I just keep praying that this doesn't just fade away. This just keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. This not this fire does not just burn out, but just keeps going and keeps going and keeps fueling. Father, use this. Use this video. Use what we've learned. The better the better you. Thank you, God, for these things. Amen. I know. I know. Oh, I know.
Boy, I lost it, I'm foolish. Running off with the tulips. Probably wooing all the coolest persecutors, the foes. Catch me hanging with shooters, rumor, destroy your medulla. My mama told me they were screws, but I already knew it. Who gon' give them peace of mind? They can have peace of mind. Know they thinking I'm blind, but I just pay them no mind. Yeah, I know they be lying. They misquoting my lines. Hey, like, what you think you doing? Putting hope in your rhymes. You would think I'm shooting coke or putting coke in my rhymes. I just give them bass for free and push the dopest in lines. Boy, you tripping. I know. Pray, pray, pray you slipping. I know. How they heard this all before. Just sit back and enjoy the show. Yeah, I know they gon' hate us. Type they blogs up to fade us. They be fishing for attention, but don't know how to fade us. Keep that hate on hiatus. Big ups to my creator. No big bang, just a banger. So tell that DJ to bang it. Yeah. I know. 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 I know what they saying, but I promise that I'm cool though. I know what they saying, but I promise that I'm cool though. I know what they saying, I ain't tripping on it, man. I just came to do my thing, so I'm different for you. Listen, I can't. You know they tryna find out my MO. I tell them guys, sit me, they probably ain't get the memo. I know. I can't say that, cause Jesus walks, they don't play that. I know. Shouldn't be here, cause people rolling their trees here. I know. You can't help them, no strippers and killers welcome. I know. You can't hear it, no ignorance in my lyrics. Boy, they swear I went loco. 116 still my logo. Catch us rolling in that photo, gonna snap you a photo. Maybe Andy or Proto, might see trippin' to Soto. Maybe KB, maybe T. Dot, yeah, I know you don't know though. Yeah, I know they don't like me, cause I be on my Spike Lee Even when I do the right thing, they still wanna fight me I got rest, won't they tax this? Police stop us in traffic Plus my girl be on my back, she say my life is too hectic Pray they watching, I know Hey, they talking, I know I done seen this all before, man, it's just part of the show Let's go I know I know I know I know I know I know, I know. I know what they say, but I promise that I'm cool. I know, I know what they say, but I promise that I'm cool. I know, I know what they say, I ain't tripping on it, man. I know. just came to do my thing, so I'm different for sure.
Call a swag. Call a swag. Man, it's 11:17 at night, um, day three. No opening of vanilla coke, as you can see. Awesome, man. So, how you feeling? Feeling pretty tired, actually. Pretty tired. Yeah, man. After the third day, I mean, goodness, it's on Wednesday, man. Uh, what what ministry are you working at? I am doing the homeless ministry with a guy named No Giles and a bunch of other people. That's cool. And it's been pretty awesome, but hard because we haven't been able to talk to many people about Jesus. Yeah. So, yeah, kind of well, hard. Yeah, kind of describe the homeless ministry for me. Go out there and just talk to people randomly. It's kind of, kind of tough just to come out of your comfort zone and talk to random strangers about Jesus and give them water um, to point them to the real water of life that will satisfy them. But yeah, I bet it's kind of hard, you know, just random strangers, especially, you know, you don't know how they're going to take it. Yeah. But, um, are the most of the people you're talking to, are they just like kind of into it or? Um, I mean, the one good conversation I've had um, has been with a guy that's actually a Christian. Um, everybody else is just kind of not really into it. But um, yeah, I'd say it's not about me uh, me being unawkward. It's really about um, God using me and God uh, talking through me to him. Do you feel like this, this mission trip has really changed some of your views or really helped you at all? Uh -huh. I feel like it's uh, highlighted sin in my life, highlighted uh, spiritual pride that um, that I think I need to earn my salvation through good works and say um, say that those good works can give me Christ and that I can be better than people and it's humbled me to uh, to remember that no one's righteous and that not even myself could earn God. You're talking about the mall ministry you just did yesterday. You're telling me on um, something really special happened. You want to explain that? Yeah. Um, I mean, you started talking about Romans 116 with the guy about getting a hat made. And ended up telling me that he had a, um, a band on with Romans 116, so it was really cool. And that he, uh, he, was, he went to the college that I want to want to go to. So it's really cool kind of God working through that. Yeah, it's just like with some, you know, randomly you go into the store for looking for a hat. Then like randomly you see this guy has this exact same wristband. Um, are you excited about anything the next few days? Yeah, um, me and Matt Murdock had a, um, about two and a half hour talk and, and he realized kind of how I realized that I was saying that uh, being good enough isn't worth it and he uh, just kind of realized that he wasn't a Christian. So it was just really cool and I just want to give him a shout out and just keep, uh, keep going and talking with him. Just seeing where he's at and helping him grow. Yeah. Cool, man. Um, oh, anything you're really nervous about? Um, not really. I mean, kind of pumped about getting back to the Charleston and being a missionary always. Um, not really nervous, but um, asking God to humble me because I'm very prideful. Let's go. Let's go. What's your life, man? 
I know a lot of people that are scared to go die. Couple of them thinking they'll be living in the sky. While I'm here living, man, I gotta ask why. What am I here for? I gotta figure out. Waste my life, no, I gotta make it count. If Christ is real, then what am I gonna do about? Everything in Luke 12, 15, out of 21, you really gotta go and check it out. Paul said, if Christ ain't resurrected, we wasted our lives. But that implies that our life's built around Jesus being alive. Yeah, they gonna live and trying to show the world why. Christ is more than everything you'll ever try. Better than pretty women and sitting and living to get a minute of any women and minutes you admire. It ain't no lie. We created for out of the dust, he made us for. Alexa said he saved us for. Jesus comes and he breaks us for. Magnify the Father, our Father was something lesser. He made us so we could bless him. Bless him the world, we confess him, resurrect him. So I know I got life. Matter of fact, better man, I know I got Christ. You don't see his ways in my days and my nights. You can hit my brakes, you can stop my life. Man, I lost my rights, lost my life. Forget the money, cause the cost that ice. The cost is Christ. They can never offer me anything on the planet that the cost that price. Yeah. So the devil just can't hang with us Christian youth, they must stand with us Living and driven, giving a vision Fulfilling the commission he handed us London to Los Angeles The rap evangelist My daddy wouldn't abandon us I got a backpack full of jets And I give a Johnny Max So are you ready to jam with us? So let's go Give me the word and let's go Persecution, let's go Tribulation, let's go Across the nation, let's go Across the nation, let's go Hung on the cross in the cold Down for the young and the old Can't say you never know Heaven knows How many souls are going to hell and to heaven So we gotta go in together Whoa. You trying to figure out what to do with your life You make a lot of money, hope you're doing it right Because the money is God, you better steward it right and stay focused You ain't got no ride, your life ain't wrapped up in what you drive The clothes you wear, the job you work, the color you skin Now you're Christian first, people get to living for a job Make a little money, start living for a car Get them a wife, a house, kids, and a dog When they retire, they're living high on the hall But guess what, they didn't ever really live at all To live is Christ, and that's Paul, I recall To die is gains, and for Christ, we give it all He's the treasure you never find in the mall See your money, your singleness, marriage, talent, your time They will only need you to show the world that Christ is divine That's why it's Christ in my rhyme That's why it's Christ all the time See my whole world is built around him He's the life in my life I refuse to waste my life He's too true to chase that ice Here's my gift of time Cause I'm constantly trying to be used to praise the Christ If he's truly raised to life Then this news should change your life If I his race you can put your faith in a place that rules your days and nights Yes! Yeah. 
I feel myself rising high above my yesterdays. Yes, it pays just to pray standing in your rays. Sunshine and reminding me that your rose reminding me that I'm yours and wrapped in righteousness robes. I closer that I get to you, the higher that I feel. It's like my spirit's been lifted outside the stratosphere. Where death is powerless and pain will never lay a claim. And all the world will proclaim your name forever reigns. Put desire inside of the fire in my bones. Earth groans to see you return and take us home. So long for so long, I'm so long. You on the throne, my life no longer my own. Leave me high. Leave me high. Friday morning, I'm up too early, I'm up too high, the sky below me, like I'm sitting in a plane, feeling strange, can't explain how I get to experience these things, been to plenty cities, spent pretty pennies and ate plenty, folk, do a show, I come home and feel empty, no, it's never me. I'm glad to say, I've been changed like presidential campaigns Used to wake up in the morning pursuing the wrong things Now I wake up in the morning pursuing the Lord's name Take me higher than the highest, you're my hope and my desire Lifting me up high despite of this gravity, leave me higher Leave me higher Again. The train who got? Uh, I, got on, I got on the train to you. Nice. What's the one? What's the joke it? about the gang cop? Knock knock. Aunt, Aunt Rose cracked me up. Yeah. Uh, wait, what, what about the game cock one? You're saying something really funny about a game cock. What was that? Because my mom cracked me up that night. Yeah. Uh, what about the knock knock who's there to game cock? I heard they won, right? They won the game last night. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I heard. All right, yeah. Dave, let's go get some cake. Anything you want to add, Caleb? Why did that game cock Anything you want to add, Caleb? Yeah. Huh? Oh, you went David and everybody. Oh, you fail. <laughs> oh, you fail twice. You're horrible.
I'm on a different camera now, but let's make sure this is working. So get this. It's the last day, last night we're gonna be here. Anything you guys wanna add for the last night we'll be here? Amen! That's what I wanna add. Yeah! All right, Morgan, anything? I'm tired! Tired? Got to. We're we still making PB and J over here. PB and J! I, I heard they're gonna oh, have no, it's turned out into hey. Nutella no, and Marshmallow Fluff. Hey, wait a minute. Didn't they have a party mean, for us playing? I'm supposed to be a secret, but I wasn't supposed to tell anybody. Well, technically, we're supposed to have a party and we're not supposed to pack our lunch. Yeah. Yeah, at the place. At Helping Hands. Yeah, we are. Okay, so why are we packing your lunch? Because we have like a lunch party. What's up, Mackenzie? What's up, dude? Hey, so how has this mission trip been for you? It's been fun. It's been fun? Uh, anything you want to add, like, you know, how good it's been or anything? I, I just thought it was cool how everyone grew closer to God and kind of yeah. shared the faith with everyone else. Yeah, that's why was, this last little bit of worship service which just really hit the spot for you, right? Yeah, Fun man. Worship. Yeah, I wish I could have recorded it, but I have it on audio. I have it on audio. <laughs> Anything you want to add, kind of Anything you want to add? It's been yeah. a good week. It's been a good week. Yeah. Trust in my chairs. Fortunately, I got... Another Another? Oh my god. I know. God is just gifting me tonight. Anything you want to add, Katie? The last night we'll be here. What? Last night we'll be here. Anything you want to add? Not really? I had a really good time with Lee. Awesome. I'm really hungry. I would think so. I'm sorry. I have a sandwich. Eat a sandwich. Where? Ooh, baby. In 2012, I'm going back. So anyway, here's some extra pictures of y'all. Thank you so much. So, so you. some of it has your and we'll call you out from each room. That's you. Yep. Drop that there. That's Katie's room. That's authors. I know some of y'all people had to leave. Philip, Katie, I think you'll love that with that person. Oh, Tina, my girl, Tina! Oh my gosh! Yeah. You also have Caleb. He's right there. Caleb, Sam, see him. Hey, Sam, she's right there. Oh, 
Oh, well, we're gonna miss you guys. This is great. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. Got it. You're turning the camera, buddy. Keep it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Ha 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 